Hey guys, I need your help. I'm trying to decide what to pair to my female skunk line Borneo short tail. Now she has origins in super stripe stuff and in the skunk line stuff. I'll sh I'm going to show you uh, a video with her so you can see what she looks like. And then I'm going to show you uh, clips of males that I'm thinking about pairing her with, where their origins are. And then what I want you guys to do is jump down in the comments and tell me which male you vote for. I'll have a little tag on each video so you know which male is which. And uh, you guys tell me what you think and why and help me pick out what we're going to do with this girl. So this is the lovely lady who we are deciding to find a match for. Uh, she is a skunk line female um, that was paired with some super stripe stuff as far as I understand. Uh, she was produced by Jason Chapman and Rob Christian uh, some time ago. Uh, you guys may know Rob's female that he calls the spooky girl. That's a sibling to this one here and the other skunk line girl that I have. Uh, but this is the one in question right now that we're trying to figure out the right match for. Lots of good stuff going on. She does have a stuck eye cap I need to fix, uh, which I'm going to do after. She just came out of a soak, but it's still, still on there. So I'm giving her a bit of a break right now, and then I'm going to go after that. Okay. Um, she's super tolerable because I literally was trying to get the stuck eye cap off, and she just sat there and took it. I mean, she pulls away, but... No striking, no freaking out, obviously. She's comfortable now. I just let her right in my face with no issue. She's on my hand. She's not getting mad if I mess with it, you know. No ill will. That's what building a decent relationship with these animals allows. Uh, it doesn't always mean that they're gonna give you that liberty, but um, you can usually tell when they've had enough and when they haven't, and obviously she's still still behaving and, and being her normal self. No, no issues, even though I've been messing with that. Uh, so help me pick out who you think we should pair her up to. Um, Orion obviously is proven. Atlas is uh, breeding this year, but not yet proven. And then uh, the other two options were Charlie Murphy, who's the same age as Atlas, but has not been paired to date. And then uh, the other male as well, who is around the same age. I don't remember exactly what year, the one that uh, was produced by Mr. Minatola. I need to name him too, and obviously this girl doesn't have a name yet. Um, it's tough when you have as many as I do. It's not that I don't want them all to have names, I'm just very picky about their names, and so I go back and forth and always want to find the perfect fit. You can see that stuck eye cap, I would imagine, and she's got to turn. Always the way it goes. Come here, turn this way. There you go. Maybe you can see it, but um, no, just a beautiful animal. So let me know what you think in the comments, which male is your vote. Uh, you can even rank them one through four if you want, and uh, we'll see what happens. No guarantees that I'll pick uh, based on that. It'll go with what I feel is the best choice at the time, but I'm going to heavily consider what you guys pick out, and hopefully um, you guys will make a choice that I think is also best for her. But I want to mess around. I mean, look at all that black. She's just... So much contrast and coolness in there. Uh, just need to find what exactly we want to try to accent and which male is going to pull it out the best. Um, so let me know and we'll go from there. We'll see you guys. All right, we're going to have to grab this guy kind of quick. He's not really fond of handling. Um, so what we're going to do is get him out. We'll show him off pretty quickly here. You guys have seen him in a video before. Uh, this guy was produced by Matt Minatola. Orange head, super stripe, possible head ocelot male. Um, he's not a bad guy. He just gets nervous and he'll start to get swimmy. Um, so before he does that, I want to put him back. But you can see very, very clean sides. Nice coloration. Uh, beautiful, beautiful orange head. Um, got a lot to offer any project. Uh, so you guys go ahead and vote for him if he's your pick. Otherwise, we'll take a look at some of the other males. Good job, bud. Good job. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Just in time. Oops, I left this running. All right, the next boy on our list, you guys know, he has his own merchandise. 
Mr. Atlas here, produced here. Um, he is from Spot On to Lilith. He is a side swipe male. Um, he carries stuff for genetic stripe and there's some ultra floating around in his line. He looks like he's just going into shed. So he's a bit dull if you need to. There's a uh, meet the collection on him on the channel and I'm sure he's been in a few videos. Uh, once again, very nice clean sides, nice coloration, lot to offer a project. Um, he is a male that is actively breeding one other girl this year in Lilith. Um, so two is something that you can do sometimes uh, with, with males. I usually don't go any higher than that. Typically it's one to one, uh, but he is an option. So if Orion is your vote, jump down in the comments. Uh, Orion, Atlas, excuse me. Uh, if Atlas is your vote, jump down in the comments and vote for Atlas. Uh, and we'll uh, tally that down. All right, next fella is in shed, so he's a little bit uh, agitated, so we're going to make this quick. Mr. Orion, uh, he is from Spot On to Electra, and he's dripping water on me because I literally caught him drinking uh, when I took him out. Um, he is also Sideswipe, Genetic Stripe, and there's also Ultra floating around in his background as well. So very similar to Atlas, major difference is being he's a little bit higher color towards the yellows. Not that you can tell right now because he's very in shed. Uh, whereas Atlas is more of the grays and, and darker color. Uh, so keep that in mind as you're making your choice. Once again, this is Orion um, and he is in shed. So we're going to get him back and uh, I'll let you guys take one last look here. All righty. So if Orion is your choice, and literally this time, since I have the right snake, uh, jump down in the comments and vote Orion. All right, next up, we have Mr. Charlie Murphy. Obviously named for the darkness. He's a very dark Borneo short tail. Uh, this guy was produced from spot on to... Um, Spot on to Ethel, and you can see he's got much darker qualities, a lot of cool dark contrast. Really, really funky color. So he is an option as well to go to this girl. I'm trying to show you both sides here. He's cooperating nicely, crawling through. Um, so he's, uh, he's going to bring a lot of darkness to the project. Uh, just in visual, not in personality. Charlie Murphy's a pretty good guy. Go hi, Charlie. He's like, nah, I don't want to say hi to you people. So Charlie Murphy, if he's your vote, there he is. Take a look at him. Let him go back. All right. So get down in the comments and vote Charlie if that's who you're picking. So now I need you guys to jump down in the comments, pick which male you want. First up, we had the Philly Mail, then we had Atlas, Orion, and the Darkness himself, Charlie Murphy. Which guy is right? This is my version of the Snake Bachelorette, so hook her up.